Hello and welcome to Algebra 1 Lesson 35. In this video we're going to learn about dividing polynomials with missing terms. So somewhere in your section on dividing polynomials you're going to get this kind of subsection that talks about dividing polynomials with missing terms. It's not any more difficult. Basically what you're looking at is that in some cases we will get polynomials with missing terms. And what I mean by that, if you look at this kind of first example here, we see 5x squared minus 3. So if my highest power on x is a 2, then I've got to go down kind of in order. So in other words, I need an x to the first power there, and I don't have it. That's what I mean by a missing term. So we have a little trick for that. We rewrite this as 5x squared plus 0 as the coefficient for the missing term. The missing term was x to the first power, x to the first power, and then we have minus 3. Remember, 0 times anything is 0. So legally I can do that, and these two things are the same. I haven't changed the value. I've just made it look a little bit different. Remember that 0 is used in our number system as a placeholder. And it's so different here, it's just being used as a placeholder. For example, in a number like 1007. I have 1,007. These zeros here are just placeholders. They're telling me that I have zero hundreds and I have zero tens. It is the same thing. I have zero x to the first power here, right? So the zero is just nothing more than a placeholder. If I look at something like 4x cubed plus 1, again, if I'm looking for what's missing, I want you to think about this carefully. The highest power on x is a 3, right? We have x cubed. So I'm missing x squared and I'm missing x to the first power. So I can rewrite this as 4x cubed plus 0x squared plus, next I do 0x to the first power, and then finally plus 1, right? So I have 0 as a placeholder and 0 as a placeholder, right? I have 0x squared and 0x to the first power. So I'm representing them, but with 0 as the coefficient, because again, 0 times anything is 0. So the basic idea here is when performing long division with polynomials with missing terms, we need to use zero as the coefficient for each missing term. And if something's written in standard form, it's very, very easy to see what's missing, right? If I have 4x cubed plus 1, I know I'm missing an x squared and an x to the first power. If I had something like, let's say, 7x to the sixth power minus 2, well, my highest power on x is the sixth power. So I'm missing x to the fifth power, fourth power, third power, squared, and first power. And a lot of times you're not going to have that many missing powers. You'll just have, you know, one or two here or there. Like I had two here. You know, in this instance, you'd have the fifth power, the fourth power, the third power, the second power, and the first power. There'd be five missing powers. It'd be a lot for your teacher to throw at you. You'll probably just get one or two. So let's take a look at an example. Again, this is not any more difficult than dividing with polynomials when you have all the terms. Right? It's the same kind of setup. So I have 2x cubed minus 20x minus 6. That is my dividend. Right? So remember that goes, as we say, underneath the house. So 2x cubed. I have minus 20x next. So I'm missing that x squared term. So I'm going to put plus 0x squared as a placeholder. And then minus 20x and then minus 6. Again, if you're missing that x squared term, you just put 0x squared. That's all you need to do. All right, so then we're going to set this up. Out here, my divisor, 2x plus 6. And once you've done that, again, it's the same thing that you've been doing throughout this section. You're going to go leading term into leading term. So 2x goes into 2x cubed how many times? So what is 2x cubed over 2x? We know that these 2s are going to cancel completely x cubed over x, we know this is going to be x squared. So I'm going to put x squared over this guy right here. This is where I'm going. And then I'm going to multiply. So let me erase this real quick. x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. Then x squared times 6 is plus 6x squared. Now, again, I want to subtract away this polynomial. And I know in the last kind of section where we just talked about dividing polynomials, I kind of got you to the point to where I didn't go through and do this extra step of putting parentheses around it, putting a minus in front, and then erasing all this and changing the signs. Again, once you get comfortable, 
just change your signs and move on. Right now I'm just going to add 2x cubed plus negative 2x cubed is 0. 0x squared minus 6x squared is minus or negative 6x squared. Scroll down, get a little room going. All right, now I'm going to bring down my next term. And my next term is a negative 20x. And then again, I'm going to go leading term into leading term. So what is negative 6x squared over 2x? We know that this is going to cancel with this and give me a negative 3. And x squared will cancel with x. That will give me x to the first power. So I'm going to have a minus 3x. I'm going to have a minus 3x. And I'm going to multiply. Negative 3x times 2x is negative 6x squared. Negative 3x times 6 is negative 18x. And again, I want to change the sign of each term here because I'm going to subtract this bottom one away. So this will be plus, and this will be plus. So negative 6x squared plus 6x squared, that's going to cancel and be 0. Negative 20x plus 18x, that's going to give me negative 2x. And then I'm going to bring down this last term here, which is negative 6. And then my leading term 2x goes into negative 2x how many times? So that's like saying negative 2x over 2x is what? And we can all see that this is going to cancel with this and give me a negative 1. And x over x is 1. So this is going to end up being minus 1 here. So negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 6 is minus 6. If I subtract the same thing away from itself, I get 0. Right? This would become plus. This would become plus. Negative 2x plus 2x is 0. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So there's no remainder. So I get x squared minus 3x minus 1. All right, so remember, I like to check things. And if you don't like to check things, just skip ahead in the, in the video. It's no problem. Uh, it usually takes about two, three minutes to check something. And I understand that you're going to get on timed examinations where you don't, you just can't check it. But particularly when you're doing homework and your teacher's grading it, you want to check it and make sure you got the right answer. You don't want to blow a problem, right? So let's go ahead and just multiply this guy right here times this guy right here. Your quotient by your divisor should give you your dividend back. So I'll have 2x plus 6. That's multiplied by x squared minus 3x minus 1. So 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times negative 3x is minus 6x squared. 2x times negative 1 is minus 2x. 6 times x squared is plus 6x squared. 6 times negative 3x is minus 18x. And then 6 times negative 1 is minus 6. So if I combine like terms here, i got like terms here, I've got like terms here. I'd have 2x cubed, negative 6x squared plus 6x squared is 0x squared, right? So I don't have to write that. So I could put plus 0x squared, kind of like I did when I set up the division, or I don't have to put it, right? I can leave it just like it's going to be up here. Then I have negative 2x minus 18x, that's negative 20x. And then lastly, minus 6. And that completely matches this right here. 2x cubed minus 20x minus 6. So we know we have the correct answer. All right, let's take a look at an alt. We have 7x cubed plus 28x plus 35. And this is divided by 7x plus 7. So again, let's take this guy right here. We have 7x cubed. Now, the next one is 28x. This is to the first power here. So I'm missing my x squared term again. So plus 0x squared. Again, if you're missing something, just write the coefficient as 0 and then give yourself a representation of the variable raised to that missing power. Then plus 28x, then plus 35. Okay. Then this guy over here, 7x plus 7, that's going to go off to the side. And then we divide like we normally do. Leading term into leading term. So 7x cubed over 7x. This is going to cancel with this and give me a 1. x cubed over x is x squared. So that's going to go right here. And then I'm going to multiply. x squared times 7x is 7x cubed. x squared times 7 is plus 7x squared. So I'm going to change the sign of each term here now. This is going to become minus. This is going to become minus. And I'm going to add. 7x cubed plus negative 7x cubed is 0. 0x squared minus 7x squared is negative 7x squared. Let's bring down the next term, which is plus 28x. 
And then let's go leading term into leading term. So I have negative 7x squared over 7x. And I'm going to cancel this with this. That's going to give me a negative 1. And then x squared over x, this is going to cancel with this and give me x to the first power. So this is going to be negative x to the first power. And then I want to multiply. Negative x times 7x is going to be negative 7x squared. Negative x times 7 is minus 7x. And again, change the sign of each term here. So this will become plus, and this will become plus. So negative 7x squared plus 7x squared is 0. 28x plus 7x is 35x. So this is 35x. And then this comes down. This is plus 35. Then 7x goes into 35x five times. Right? We can all see that 35 would cancel with 7 and give me a 5. x over x is 1. So this is going to be plus 5. 5 times 7x is 35x. 5 times 7 is 35. If I subtract 35x plus 35 from that, I'm going to get 0. Right? This would become negative. And so with this, so 35x plus negative 35x is 0. 35 minus 35 is 0. So there's no remainder here. So we get x squared minus x plus 5. And again, if we want to check, take that quotient, multiply by the divisor, and you'll get your dividend back. So let's do 7x plus 7 times x squared minus x plus 5. Okay, 7x times x squared is 7x cubed. 7x times negative x is minus 7x squared. 7x times 5 is plus 35x. 7 times x squared is plus 7x squared. 7 times negative x is minus 7x. And then 7 times 5 is plus 35. All right, so let's combine like terms. So we have negative 7x squared and 7x squared. Those would cancel and give me 0x squared. Remember, that's not here. We wrote 0x squared when we set our division up. Then I also have as like terms 35x and negative 7x. You can eyeball and see this is going to work. You'd have 7x cubed, 35x minus 7x is 28x, and then you have plus 35. And that's exactly what you started out with as your dividend, 7x cubed plus 28x plus 35. All right, let's do one final problem. The only difference here is I'm going to put the missing term in the divisor instead of the dividend. So I have 2x to the fourth power minus x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 3. And we're dividing by x squared minus 3. So let's set this up. My dividend is 2x to the fourth power minus x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 3. Then over here, my divisor is x squared minus 3. So x squared. I'm missing my x to the first power. So I'm going to put plus 0x, and then I have minus 3. So again, leading term into leading term. So what is 2x to the fourth power over x squared? Well, we know that this is going to cancel with this and give me 2x squared. Right? This would cancel out. So 2x squared. Again, I'm going to write that over the term that has x squared in it. And then I'm going to multiply. 2x squared times x squared is 2x to the fourth power. 2x squared times 0x is 0x cubed. Then 2x squared times negative 3 is minus 6x squared. So we're subtracting this guy away. So that means I'm going to change this to a minus. I'm going to change this to a minus. And I'm going to change this to a plus. So let's go ahead and add 2x to the fourth power minus 2x to the fourth power is 0. Negative x cubed minus 0x cubed is negative x cubed. Then negative 5x squared plus 6x squared is 1x squared, or just x squared. All right, so now I'm just going to bring down this 3x. And I'm going to go leading term into leading term. So what is? negative x cubed over x squared. Well, we know that this is going to cancel out with two factors of x from that numerator, so this would be negative x to the first power. So minus x, and then we're going to multiply. Negative x times x squared is negative x cubed. 
negative x times 0x is minus 0x squared. Negative x times negative 3 is positive 3x. So let me change the signs here. So this will be positive, positive, and then this guy's going to be negative. So negative x cubed plus x cubed is 0. x squared plus 0x squared is just x squared. So then 3x minus 3x, we could put plus 0x. And then we can bring down this negative 3. And now, once again, I'm going to do leading term into leading term. x squared over x squared is 1. So then I'm going to put plus 1 here. And I'm going to multiply. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 0x is 0x. And then 1 times negative 3 is minus 3. So I have the same thing over itself. If I'm going to subtract here, if I subtract the same thing away from itself, I get 0. x squared minus x squared is 0. 0x zero minus 0x zero is 0. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So this becomes 0. So 2x squared minus x plus 1 is our answer. All right, so let's check this guy. We have x squared minus 3, and I'm multiplying by 2x squared minus x plus 1. So x squared times 2x squared is 2x to the fourth power. x squared times negative x is minus x cubed x squared times 1 is plus x squared. And we have negative 3 times 2x squared, that's minus 6x squared. Negative 3 times negative x is plus 3x. And negative 3 times 1 would be minus 3. So I have like terms here. And that's it. So I would have what? 2x to the fourth power minus x cubed. And then x squared minus 6x squared is minus 5x squared then plus 3x, then minus 3. Exactly what we started with there as our dividend.